forget law school. Everybody should just become a YouTube star. According to YouTube, the company's numbers indicate that the Philippines is taking off as a YouTube country. There are currently over 750 YouTube channels with over 100,000 subscribers. Occasionally I get questions about running a YouTube channel. And some of those questions are, how much does it cost to start a YouTube channel? Another question is, uh, can I make money running a YouTube channel and survive in the Philippines on a YouTube income? Number three, is it worth it? They're all tough questions. So stick around, I'll share a little reality with you. In a study published in The Sun magazine, three quarters of Gen Zers and Millennials surveyed chose becoming a YouTuber as their most desired career. The same study also found the following statistics based upon a survey that includes even younger children. One in five aspire to be a lawyer, while one in six would like to be a pop or movie star. But get this, one out of three surveyed aspire to be a YouTuber. Yes, one-third of all those surveyed long for YouTube stardom. For many of us middle-aged and older folks, we never even had those opportunities. But for youngsters like 15-year-old Niana Guerrero, Philippines YouTube star, it's been nothing but a thing. The odds of making it that big at such an early age are mind-boggling, but some just have the knack. When I look at most of these teens that dream of becoming successful YouTube entrepreneurs, I have to think that most of them aren't even qualified to flip burgers yet. To be successful in this type of business requires certain qualifications, such as on-screen talent, writer, producer, director, editor, researcher, cinematographer, sound design, mixer, and that's not all. Then there's on-screen talent, gaffer, key grip, hair, makeup, and wardrobe. Set Design, Prop Master, Distributor, Marketer, Copyright Management, SEO Expert, Graphic Design, Analytics Analyst. And that's just off the top of my head, but there is one other that comes to mind, on-screen talent. And with all those qualifications and skills, a little experience in business development would also come in handy. I've been doing this for over six years now, and I still feel challenged at every level. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting old. When I started my channel in 2012, it was nearly two years before I published my first video, shown here, and it was awful. And back then, I wasn't even shooting much video, I was still taking mostly photos from my blog. I never envisioned using YouTube to make money or as a source of income. During the time when I began publishing videos, it was simply a way to stay busy in my retirement, and also a way to keep friends and family updated with our journey. As it turned out, I reverted to being practically retired, and now, looking back a few years, I realized that I didn't necessarily really retire, I just retired to something else. Today, YouTube is the second most popular website in the world after Google. People are actually leaving broadcast television and cable television in the U.S., and they are moving to YouTube. According to YouTube, it has become a platform that allows everyone to have a voice and share their experience with the world. But to become really successful on this platform, it requires a certain level of dedication. Some vloggers would even use that nasty four-letter word to describe their effort, work. It's a lot of work, actually. While it was once easier just to jump in and start earning, YouTube has raised the bar, and now you need at least 1,000 subscribers and a minimum of 4,000 watch hours of viewed videos on your channel before you can monetize your channel. In addition to gaining the skill set to produce quality content, it takes a variety of equipment. Sure, there are those talking heads who can get by with just a cell phone and a computer. Some bloggers even use their phone's editor and upload their video directly from their smartphone, not even using a computer. Then there are those who make a hefty investment into using all the equipment and technology they can afford. I started my channel with nothing more than a decent Canon camera and a laptop. I later purchased a desktop with a little more processing power and took over a small corner in the living room. And little by little, piece by piece, I eventually had an arsenal of cameras and equipment for all my video needs.
Just last year, I finally bit the bullet and purchased a drone. Actually, two drones. And then there is all the accessories and upgrades. I've experienced no shortage of expenditures over the years, but that was by choice, hoping to improve my creativity and production. Before smartphones got real good with their uh, quality, image quality, I bought a little Canon Coolpix one time, uh, just as a little point and shoot video camera uh, to take with me on the run. And in, at the beach, you got some sand and the autofocus mechanism, and that was the end of that camera. Earlier this year, I lost that first drone in the ocean and had to replace it. You might want to ask, how much does it really cost to start a YouTube channel? It's not much. Believe it or not, I'm shooting this video right now with a cell phone, and it has a much better quality than my, uh, my built-in desktop camera. Most of my video shots are shot with a Canon uh, SX50HS with a telephoto lens. The other two cameras I use a lot are the GoPros, the uh, GoPro 5 and the GoPro 9. But I'm shooting this video with my Samsung Galaxy S20 on a tripod. It can take a lot of money to ramp up a serious YouTube operation, at least if you hope that it provides you a satisfactory return on your investment and your effort. Take the popular vlogger Casey Neistat with over 12 million subscribers. There's no telling what he has invested into his channel over the years. It's a well-known fact that some of the most successful vloggers spend countless hours of shooting and editing video not to mention thousands of dollars on technology and equipment. Now, back to those three important questions we started this video with. Number one, does it cost money to start a YouTube channel? Absolutely not. Creating a YouTube account is free. The only expense that you will incur is probably the, the, uh, the price of a cell phone. Two, can I make enough money to live in the Philippines off of a YouTube channel? I'm always going to suggest that if you come to the Philippines to live, you better bring an income with you. If I had to rely on YouTube for an income to survive, my wife would have left me years ago. Three, is it worth it? As of 2020, there are more than 37 million YouTube channels. The number of channels is growing strong. Last year it grew more than 23%. People all around the world are creating a YouTube channel and uploading 500 hours of video every minute. How many channels have 1 million subs, you ask? As of November of 2020, there were about 22,000 YouTube channels with over 1 million subscribers each. They are the dinosaurs of the YouTube space. They are massive in size. Most of these channels started ages ago, and it took them a very long time to grow this big. Worldwide, there are only 230,000 YouTube channels that have over 100,000 subscribers. Oh That's less than 1% of all channels. So you can see that the competition is stiff and that the odds are phenomenally high for success. All right, thank you everyone. I don't really know what to say because I was up there with all these guys. I'm just like starstruck that Jason Nash and Trish and everyone's here. I really wanted to win just so I could meet Casey Neistat because... Um... Soon we hope to be traveling back to our Samar home in the Philippines where we will spend several months visiting and relaxing. There is much work to be done on the home front and lots of new video to be taken on the ground and in the air. I'm looking forward to changing gears and a change of pace. I do worry though that a slower pace might get in the way of my productivity. In all reality, it's still just a hobby for me, and we could never live off what I make, as most everything generated by this channel goes right back into creating more videos. One thing is for certain, if I worked any harder at it, I would no longer be practically retired. Can you make money with YouTube? Yes, probably not. It's not going to be very easy. So where are we? <laughs> Most of my videos are shot with a, 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 a Canon SX50. Uh, Most of my videos are shot with a Canon XS50.
most of my videos are shot with a Canon XS. So here we are, we've come full circle. Full circle. Or is it full circle? So we're looking for the questions to the answers. No, we're not looking for questions. We're looking for answers to the questions. How many times am I going to do this? So if you're looking, if you're looking, if you're looking to survive on YouTube, my wife would sell me down the river for more than I'm making on YouTube.